Good day, good day! How the honk are ya? This is your friend Dan O, and this is Roverland, the YouTube channel that's anything and everything Land Rover. Have I got a video for you today? All right, all right, all right. Hey, check this out. Welcome to another video. Boy, have we got a little bugger for you today. Yes, this is a one-off Wednesday, and we have got this little bugger that I just got uh, not too long ago in uh, eBay, a uh, bunch of Land Rovers, and we're going to take a look at it in more in depth. Yes, did some research, and uh, well, let's just, ba-bam, take a look at it. All right, this is a... Uh, Mira uh, Land Rover made in Spain and uh, reference 165 165 not really sure what that all uh, details or what that's uh, uh, references I don't think it's um, I don't know what it is but anyway <laughs> so the Mira company we took a look at it they got a nice nice little uh um signia there they got a uh a logo little uh feller there with looks like a driving hat and some goggles uh los miniatures i did not uh miniatures uh yeah so uh obviously that is uh uh, uh spanish uh and uh just a this is just a crazy little model so um 1970s model 164 scale uh it is apparent that um that uh mira now this is this is something totally different and strange for me here in america uh you folks across the pond and abroad uh probably are more familiar with this brand uh you know in in europe spain and and uh such and so forth um, so maybe you could uh, shed a little bit more light, but I'm going to tell you what I found on this 19, uh, in this, uh, series three Land Rover, uh, Defender, uh, it, it, it is a one, oh nine two door hard top. Um, now Mira is now absorbed with, uh, by or into Salido which in itself is the vision of Majorette. And uh, the model is spoiled by these clumsy wheels. Uh, I did do some research. I found uh, a, a, uh, on, on the Google, I did the Google, and I came across the, the Worth Point uh, auction site. And uh, that, that was one of the things that they had mentioned, that uh, the front doors... Um, you know, that are just kind of fit and finished not so well, uh, but they do, they do work. They're pretty keen. I, I like them, but, uh, yeah, they do, uh, require, uh, or desire a little bit to be had, but, but for a little car like this now, it's, it's hung up there and, uh, I had this before, so you just kind of have to tweak it just a little bit to get it shut and I can't tweak it again the way I tweaked it there you go all right so anyway we were talking about and they they said that this model was spoiled by clumsy wheels uh, that are uh, for way too far small and poorly fitted and uh, opening front doors uh, so yeah it, it is quite uh uh, whimsical. It's a cute little model. Uh, I think what it is, is they, in my opinion, is that they had these sets of wheels and they put them on everything they had. Uh, I guess they had quite a few um, uh, different um, vehicles that they would produce and they just used the same set of wheels. But uh, otherwise, there's very nice detail in the, in the bottom. They have the pumpkins that are offset to one side, which is true to form for a real Land Rover and they have the leaf springs here that they show uh, at differential and stuff like that and uh, bottom of I guess the engine which is might be a little bit uh, 
uh, off center off center should probably be more centered but then it has the exhaust uh, that comes out to the end so this would be and you can see kind of by the uh, oil pan there that uh, is off centered which uh, is probably they couldn't do centered because of all this other stuff but it's a straight six is what they had and i guess a fuel tank uh back there yeah so anyway so these um I, <laughs> uh they're i guess they're a little bit hard to come by you know they they weren't a very popular model and i don't think they made uh, a terrific amount of them but um but it is a fun little quirky uh thing now they did have a couple of variations and let's talk about them if you do Google uh, this with the reference number 165, um, you'll see that there was a rare white one with a red cross fitted on the door and uh, with a trailer. I guess there was a trailer that, that this also came with. I don't know really how they hooked up or whatnot, unless mine's missing the trailer uh, hitch piece. But uh, I'm not really sure. Uh, I didn't see anything like that. But anyway, um, but then there also is a second version with a blue cross. And that had it on the hood, the blue cross. But uh, that was white. Uh, there is a red version as well um, that comes with uh, Policia on it. I'm going to open that back up. But very, very nicely detail uh interior and uh yeah i like that steering wheel not really accurate uh, land rover it does have a shifter on the ground there too boy we can see that that's cool so the blue one um had uh on the side these uh sticker envelope type uh stickers to it and uh policia there was a yellow one also uh uh, two different ones, some some different stickers. Now I, I open that. Now I can't shut it again. I don't know why I do that to myself. Okay, we're not going to do that anymore. Uh, Public Works, uh, as far as and I don't speak uh, or, or read, as you know, um, Spanish and things like that. But uh, they had a little uh, sticker on there on the on the hood, uh, and I figured out that it was Public Works. A little guy in a shovel, shoveling some stuff. And don't really see too many county workers doing that, but okay. And uh, so, yeah, two sticker versions of the red, and uh, and then this uh, or yellow, and then this red one. The yellow one had uh, uh, the other yellow one was like a zigzag Zorro uh, racing type uh, uh, sticker on the on just the side. Uh, I don't know if they were what they were trying to emulate there. But anyway, but uh, plastic base, uh, plastic interior, which is uh, a big, huge piece. It goes all the way to the back, uh, which is a different color. And then the die cast uh, body. And like I say, these, these are two piece plastic wheels with the chrome um, centers. So, I mean, it, it's quite a, you can see this one's kind of coming apart here. I don't know exactly what's going on there, but uh, yeah. Um, so it's not just a regular um, Hot Wheels wheel. They cover up. Uh, it looks like that that chrome center cap snaps into the uh, black tire, which is see if we can get a really good shot of that black tire. It's sealed on the back side. So I'm assuming the, the axle goes through it and then the, uh, the chrome piece snaps on the outside so you don't see the end of the rivet. But uh, if it could just have a little bit bigger tires, that would be all right. But I don't know, they would have to do something with the uh, wheel well and the, the, the base uh, is straight across and right there. So you really don't have much room there. But... Um, so I did see a packaged um, Mira model, which is sold on a blistered card, as far as I know. And it was kind of faced like this, uh, you know, uh, at an angle and, and had a blistered card. So it, wa it wasn't a traditional um, matchbox or Hot Wheels uh, facing sideways or uh, the um, 
you know, majorette in the days. It was more like uh, just flat like this, and you just saw the top of the, the model in the package. So there you go. What up, Wednesday? Thank you for joining me. I got to get out of here. I hope you enjoyed this little bugger. If you have more uh, comments uh, on it, uh, go down below. Man, oh, geez. Give, give me a thumbs up. Here's a thumb. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. <laughs> Otherwise, this is your friend Dano. I got to get out of here. Thank you very much. Remember, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.